Hello everyone. So today we will be discussing some of the frequently asked questions. Now these questions are some of the major basic concerns that students have before joining Newton School. Even after the video, if you have some doubts or queries, please feel free to post them in the comment section and our team would be replying to all of them. The very basic major question that comes is who all are eligible for our course? Now the course is designed for any student who is in their final year of graduation, somebody who's already a graduate or a working professional. There are no minimum CGPA requirements and the course is open for all branches across all streams. Even somebody from a non-science or a non-technical background can enroll in the course. Do I have to pay anything for the test or the course beforehand? There is absolutely no registration fees for the test. It's completely free of cost. Newton School does not ask for any upfront fees. You only have to pay once you are placed else you don't have to pay us anything. What is the two week pre-course and can I drop the course after the two week trial? The pre-course is like a miniature overall view of the entire program. It will give you a chance to get familiar with the entire schedule, to see if it fits your lifestyle and also get familiar with Newton School itself. And yes, you can drop the entire course if you don't think that it suits you or is appropriate for you. By giving the test, am I bound to any contract? No, absolutely not. And a lot of students have this doubt. The entrance test does not mean that you are bound to Newton School in any of the ways. It is just a gateway to actually enroll in the course. It does not mean that you've already become a part of it or you owe us anything. You can drop it off any time you want after the test. You can also drop it off after the two week trial itself. What is cutoff for the test? Now there is no exact cutoff, but attempting 50% of both the sections, which is aptitude and coding, will highly increase your chances of being shortlisted for the course. Will my age be a barrier? Age is no criteria at Newton School. We have students aged 30 years, 40 years, and even above. All you need is a will to learn. And if you have that, you can easily be a part of the course. How should I prepare for the entrance test? For the coding section, you can refer to our Launchpad courses. The link for these courses is given in the description of this video. It will take you around three, four days to actually get familiar with the two, three main courses. And once you have learned the syntax and you know how to frame a program, you can actually practice on the website itself. There are practice questions as well. Now for the aptitude test, you can go through the basic fundamentals of mathematics. You can cover topics like permutation and combination, equational mathematics, exponentials. Just go through the very basics of it. No need to go in the details. What is the pattern for the exam? The exam has two sections, the first being the aptitude test. It is for 30 minutes. It will be for 45 marks and it will offer you 35 questions. As you can see that the number of questions is more than the number of minutes. It means that the questions are straightforward. There is not a lot of calculation needed to solve them. For the coding section, it is for 90 minutes. It has five questions and is for 15 marks. The questions are framed in such a way just to test that you are familiar with the basics of coding and there are no as such highly technical questions involved. What if I'm fired from the job after the placement? Now, if this happens within the first three months of your placement, the ISA will be paused and we will help you find another job. If this happens after three months of your placement, the ISA will still hold, but we will also be helping you to find your next job. And honestly, such cases are very, very rare. What is the guaranteed CTC? So Newton School guarantees you a placement between 5 to 40 lakhs per annum. And if you're not placed within that range, you don't have to pay us anything. What is an ISA? ISA stands for Income Sharing Agreement. According to this, 
Once you are placed within the guaranteed range, you will have to pay a sum of rupees 2.5 lakhs over a period of 36 months or three years. Now, these were the basic queries that we often get in our emails and in our webinars. Even if you have some new questions, as said earlier, you can drop them in the comment section and we will be answering all of them. You can also join our Telegram groups for more interactive discussions. We will be posting a link for that as well in the group description. Thank you all for listening and I hope this video helps.